What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James. I think you. Welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, of course, it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And today... We've got some madness to look at. Very exciting. So, three, two, one. The hive is already claimed. How are we doing? I hope you guys and girls are amazing. Uh, yes, so, <laughs> basically, there was a new code which just got released, like, I think earlier today. Um, and yeah, what we're going to do is we're just here in the main world um, just to redeem it very quickly. But then we are going to go and head over to the test realm because there is all kinds of madness that has just been introduced a little bit earlier. We're going to go and check out these new features, see what Arnett has to say about them. And yeah, just see what they actually do. So just before we do all that, should we just redeem the code? Yeah, why not? So yeah, this code quite simply is just to extend our backpack and make it two times bigger. Um, so I think we mentioned this in the last couple of episodes, but on it definitely it seems like he wants to look into ways to extend the bag, extend the fields. I've got a bit more information on that a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, I think this is really, really cool. And I think everyone, like, <laughs> as soon as the uh, the festive Beesmas event ended, everyone was like, no, my backpack's so small. Uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But this is cool. I really like codes like this. I think they're super duper useful. And this one, quite simply, is big bag. <laughs> I mean, very, very straightforward. Three, two, one. D b boom. There we go. Uh, and literally all this does, it is capacity code for two days, 48 hours. And it is going to give us, oh, not only two times capacity, but two times convert rate at Hive. Dude. So yeah, this one is for 48 hours. So I guess like, what day is it today? Thursday. So if you guys see this on Thursday or Friday, um, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Um, but yeah, like if you see this on Thursday or Friday, then maybe it's a good idea to redeem it at the weekend. I don't think it's going to get taken down super duper quickly, uh, but it's kind of up to you guys. It is 48 hours of two times capacity and two times hive conversion, uh, which should be really, really good for a bit of a grindy honey sesh. Uh, yeah, so that's literally all I have to do here in the main realm, but we're gonna go over to the test one. This is where, where the video gets spicy. Right, okay, welcome to the test realm. Uh, yeah, so I basically, look at this. Look at this, unbelievable, on it, on it. Top of the leaderboards. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, uh, welcome to the test realm. Uh, we did a video on this, I think, uh, last episode. And this is really cool because we get to actually see all of the stuff firsthand. However, what we are looking at today are two brand new boost potions, which have just been added into the test realm. I've got a bunch of information about them. And the first couple of people uh, to show me these uh, were on Twitter. So if I have a little look here. Yeah, it, once again, Beast Swamp Simulator Elise getting in the hot uh, with the information about the purple potion. And then we also had Dafoni here. Uh, who was talking about another one called the Super Smoothie. <laughs> so this is really, really kind of mad. Um, what I did earlier is I just came in and I did my grinding just to grab a bunch of badges, which then allows us to actually go inside uh, the sprinkler shop. So you do need to have like access to the, um, the blender in order to do this. However, uh, I didn't actually realize, here I'll show you. Yeah, like a little bit earlier on, I came into here, I unlocked it with some badges, and then right here on the floor was an icon for like a basic egg. And I was like, huh, that's kind of strange, what is this? And then when I actually grabbed it, it's not a basic egg, <laughs> it is the uh, Super Smoothies, which is one of the brand new items which has just been added to the game. Um, so yeah, this Super Smoothie, we're going to go and redeem one in just a second, um, so I can show you guys what it does. And I'm also going to show you how to make them in the blender. But the little description here says it doubles your capacity and grants the improved boosts of many consumables combined for 20 minutes. So this is essentially like a super boost item. Uh, and instead of having to use all of the items manually, this one requires you just to go like boof and then all of them will pop off in one go. Uh, it sounds pretty cool. So uh, in terms of the super smoothie, if we go into the blender here, we can see that currently the crafting recipe for it is, and as you can see here, it's not going to look like this egg, 
Um, but I think the, the, the logo that on it is drawn just isn't in the game just yet. Um, so it seems like it's a magic bean, three neon berries, three of this, whatever this is. I don't think it's going to be a basic egg. <laughs> I think it's going to be something else. And six tropical drinks. So you can already tell that this is a top tier boost item uh, purely because you need tropical drinks in order to make them. And tropical drinks obviously are made from other items which make the tropical drinks and then the tropical drinks are harder to get in general to begin with anyway unless you do the coconut crab a lot. Um, so this is definitely going to be a super high tier item. So funnily enough, just before we pop one here, on it does say, he says, when Super Smoothie is active, you can't use the other consumable buffs, so it's not as OP as it seems. For example, it will cancel out a red extract buff when you use the Super Smoothie, and you can't use uh, a red extract, blue extract, glues, oils, tropical drinks, purple potions, or enzymes while Super Smoothie is active. So we're going to look at the purple potion in just a second, but essentially what he's saying is that you can't stack a super smoothie with a regular boost item. So for example, you can't stack an enzyme with a super smoothie and it's not going to give you like 20% instant conversion. Uh, but essentially it's just a way to get them all done in like instantly. And the buffs are kind of mad. <laughs> Do you guys want to see the buffs? Here we go, check this out. So I'm going to go and pop this super smoothie, boom, and this is what the buffs look like. So you have a two times capacity, a 1.6 red, 1.6 blue, 1.6 white, 1.4 pollen from tools, 1.4 pollen from bees, two times convert rate, 12% instant conversion, 7% critical chance, 1.25 B move speed, and 1.25 player move speed. This buff currently lasts for 20 minutes, and as you can see, it is better than all of the other buffs if you were to put them on individually. So obviously it's expensive, um, but this is going to be an amazing one for, for doing wind shrine donations. Uh, only lasts for 20 minutes, but the buffs are much better than if you were just to use red and blue and extract and, and oil and glue and all that stuff individually. Uh, I really like this idea. I think this is cool. Dude, I love it. So you may have also heard me talk about the purple potion. <laughs> now this one is uh, a little bit different. Um, so I think it's kind of, well, here, here's the thing. So th this is what on it says here. He says, the purple potion in the blender is just me testing away to combine the other buff consumables. If the purple potion is active, you can't use red extract, blue extract, or glue. It will also overwrite any of those buffs. You can't have purple potion and the red extract at the same time, for example. So yeah, once again, the purple potion is kind of like, you can't stack it up with your regular buffs. And from what it says right now, it says it grants the combined and improved effects of glue, red extract, and blue extract. So basically, this one is slightly worse than the super smoothie, but it will give you a slightly boosted rate if you have your red extract, your blue extract, and a glue on. Um, so I don't know what's happened to oil and enzymes in this one. I guess you could just use those individually anyway. Um, but you do use glue in order to do it. So it's not exactly like it's super cheap. Three glue each time and three extracts each time. So I guess like with these things, they're not going to be ones that you're going to be like popping ten times a day. Uh, well, it depends, depends if you're doing super grinding or not. But I feel like these are the ones that you're going to be saving for special grind occasions. Maybe when a code comes out. Uh, maybe if you're like donating something to the wind shrine, if you get like a nice field stack or something, then I think that these things are definitely going to be really, really good. Um, but yeah, I always thought the smoothie was spelled IE at the end. Am I going mad? Oh yeah, okay, okay. So uh, yeah, you may be wondering like, well, what's what's the concept behind these items? Um, so on it here says that the idea with the new crafted items is there for extreme late game when the slight increases in multipliers are more valuable to you than the crafting ingredients. Um, so yeah, this is it's kind of like, for example, it's a good situation with someone like myself where I have like a bunch of, of crafting resources that are just sitting there doing nothing. I do use them uh, as much, like as often as I can, but I can only use so many before I get them back from, you know, mob drops and bug runs and, and memory matches and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so this is going to be a nice way to, to create like an extra powerful boosty boost, essentially. 
Uh, what else does Arnik here say? He says, uh, oh yeah, he says, well, some of the new crafted items will require so many ingredients that it would take hours of crafting to make just one of them. So it seems like you're not going to be able to like instantly farm a bunch of these things. They may take quite a while to actually uh, make. And oh, wait a second. Didn't I see this somewhere? Hang on. Where was it? Uh, I need to try and make something. Yeah, if I do this... Yeah, look at this! So this is a brand new feature as well. You can now speed up your blender for the price of tickets. Um, so my guess is that it is a ticket per item. So yeah, this is just a new feature. I do think it's a good idea, but I do think that there's more valuable things to spend your tickets on. Um, so I would be hesitant personally to use this feature just because tickets are such a useful item for things like purchasing gumdrops. Um, but yeah, if you desperately need that item, and maybe you're a couple of items away from getting your amazing new piece of gear, I completely get it. I think it's a nifty feature. It's worth having just in case. So, complete blending for one ticket. It's instant, okay. I think it scales up, I feel like. The more stuff you're making at one time, the more expensive it's gonna be, which makes sense. Um, so yeah, the only thing that I've really got left to like share with you guys for this episode is just another quick thing that Arnett mentioned here that I thought was interesting. He says that ideally the amount of time spent in fields before getting a full bag should be way higher, like 10 to 20 times higher, but emptying at the hive should be faster. So yeah, I actually think this is really nice um, because there does get up to a point in the game uh, and this happens, I think like especially before this latest update, um, but, you know, if you've got, like, a field boost, maybe, like, a, a character sort of around sort of my level, I guess, um, you, you jump into a field and you just go, like, boom, 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 for, like, five seconds and your backpack's full. So, like, you spend most of the time not even, like, harvesting honey, you just spend most of the time standing at the hive. Um, so, yeah, I think Onnit is currently also working on, like, a big rebalance to try and make things a little bit better for, like, the gameplay which I think is a really, really nice idea. And obviously all of these things that we're seeing, they're all starting to tie together to give you a picture as to what he's actually thinking. So we did see this in the last episode here. This is the boost market, which I think is really, really cool. Um, but obviously with some of these boosts, which we've seen, you know, having things like the field capacity increases, allowing your backpack to be bigger in certain fields, uh, you know, increasing, um, you know, uh, conversion speeds with things like codes, um, introducing these new boost items and stuff so you can like increase your instant conversion and, and you know, stuff like that. I do think it's all super duper positive. Uh, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what what's next. Um, you know, the one thing that I would say, just before we finish here, is that I don't think I've ever seen on it this like active after a big update has just finished. Um, so I love it. I think it's great. The thing is, previously with other updates, we didn't have the test realm. So although on it was likely working on stuff, we never actually got to see it. Um, but now, like with the test realm, where we can see the kind of things that he's working on, and then also he's being way more active with codes. I think that's also a really big plus. Uh, yeah, it feels like good times for Beast Swarm. I can't wait for the next update. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I think that's probably going to be about it for this episode here today. So I'm just showing you these two brand new items that have been added. Really like the super smoothie. Mine's still going on in the background here. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya!